All I want is a wing. Live. <laughs> Just a little winged liner. It's not too much to ask for. <laughs> it's gonna go real easy. Not too crazy. This isn't easy. Gently. Gently. <laughs> oh. <sighs> okay. This is the one. This is the time it works. What? Like a paddle. How are you supposed to get a wing with this? <sighs> hey guys, I know that was a really silly entrance to this video, but I feel like there's so many types of eyeliner. I mean, just sitting in front of me, I have five different eyeliners. I have a liquid, I have a gel. I have a waterproof wind-up pencil, then I have a paddle type applicator, felt tip, and then I have a precision felt tip. I feel like there's a lot of confusion about not necessarily like what type to use. I mean, everybody has a different favorite type, but I feel like there's a lot of confusion about like how to do it easy, no big deal, wing it out every day without all the hassle and all the complications. So this is my winged liner for dummies video. Um, I'm definitely a winged liner dummy. Most of you know I never get my winged liner even. So like it'll be, you know, out to here on one side and out to here on the other. I mean, it's just like total disaster most of the time. But um, there are some tools that I have learned to use that have really helped me become semi-pro. I would say semi-pro wing liner. And I use wing liner about daily. With, well, I shouldn't say daily. Every day that I wear my makeup, I pretty much do a wing liner. Um, unless I'm like running late or something like that. So, without further ado, we're going to talk about my favorite tips, tricks, and like uh, products to wing out your eyeliner. Get that great cat eye look. And uh, both of my favorite products to actually wing it out with are comp super, super affordable. They're three and two dollars. Um, they're available at the drugstore, which is, of course, as you know, my favorite thing. The things are available at the drugstore. Um, everything I use in this video will be listed down below, including the products I used in my intro, which were just silly products to just like show you all the crazy things that go wrong when we do that. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and let's get to wing liner. So for our first line, we're going to do just one on each side so I can show you the different techniques. Um, for this particular liner, you are going to need an angled brush. It's going to look like this. A lot of people use them for their eyebrows. This brush is from the Sephora collection. It is the liner brush. Um, I'm also using today the Essence Gel Eyeliner. It comes in a little pot like that. And... This is the shade Midnight in Paris. It is just their blackest shade. Um, and then for our other eye, I'm going to be using my favorite, the e.l.f. Intense Ink Eyeliner. It comes in a pen type situation. It is extremely precise, fine tipped felt eyeliner. And then you're also going to need a concealer in a pot or something that you can um, like put out on your hand to use to really help sharpen your line when you're finished and a little bit of setting powder or whatever. So when I go in for my eyeliner, it's usually one of the last couple of things I do. Um, right now I'm actually always already wearing mascara. I normally would not be wearing mascara at this point. Um, but when I go in to line my eyes, I've already got my eyeshadow done, my face is set, everything is ready to rock. I just need some eyeliner, some mascara, and some lipstick. 
So to get started with, we're going to start with the gel liner. I feel like out of the two liners that I'm showing you today, this is definitely the more complicated option. So the Essence Liner I'm using is available at Target. Um, it's only $1.99. I mean, okay, like that's great. Um, this one is a little bit drier than most of the gel liners I like, so I go ahead and spray my brush with a little setting spray uh, before I dip into it. And I just dip in both sides, just get them, you know, a healthy coat. And then just scrape off the excess and it should look something like that okay now for our liner what we're going to do is we're going to start from the outer corner and a lot of people tell you to pull from the corner of your eye and I'm going to tell you to start where you want your liner to finish and bring it into the corner of your eye so I want my liner to be out here today so I'm going to start there I'm just going to do an easy, simple line back out. And you can see that didn't put much on there. I didn't go crazy because I want to make sure that's where I want it. And that looks right. So I'm going to go back and get a little bit more of the liner. So we're going to go from our line. We're going to go about halfway up. And we're going to pull that down onto the lid of our eye. And gradually... We will work that down our eyelid. And if you're wanting more of a wing to deepen up the tip, just tap gently with the very edge of your brush. And just make sure every time you set down your brush back on the liner, you set it exactly where it is and you just press down like a little stamp. Just like that. And then you're going to start from the outside and you're just going to drag in across your eyelid. to the point you want it and then if you want to bring your wing down a little into your lower lash line just slowly bring your brush over along the lashes just in little tiny increments and then you should get a lovely little wing now we're going to use the same technique but with a felt tip liner. Felt tip liners are my preferred method of wing liner. I just think it works better. They don't run all over the place. They're not as liquid eyeliner and they're not as gooey as gel liner. So I think you're just really capable of getting a little bit better wing. So we're going to do the same thing. So for this time we're going to try and match where our other wing starts over here. So I'm just looking at where that is with my eye. I think it's about right here. I'm just going to take it and draw a little line. And you can just automatically see how much more pigmented this shows up immediately. It's a little bit smoother to apply. And that was just so quick. Boom. I mean, less than a second. So then you're going to clean up your line by going back the other direction, fill in any holes. And again, you're going to go halfway up, and then you're just going to pull back toward your eyelid and then fill in anything that's not completely solid. And then do the same technique for your waterline. And go as far, pull gently. I mean, I'm not putting a lot of pressure. And I would say, no. These aren't perfect wings. This one has more of an angle to it than the other one. But again, this is what I'm most comfortable with. This was so easy. It took so much less time. But, I mean, there are some things I would clean up. So, 
to clean up my liner, I'm going to get another little bit fluffier angled brush. I'm going to take my concealer and I'm going to apply the concealer to the brush like I would the gel liner, just on both sides and then wiping off the excess. And to clean it up, I'm just going to gently slide it along. And then with my finger, tap out the excess, and then with my Use Beauty Blender, from when I set my face with a little excess powder that's on it, set that concealer. And then you just get this really beautiful sharp line. Now you don't have so many sharp line issues with the felt tip liner. I'm extremely partial to it, but the same effect works. And then again, set it with the residual powder from setting your face. And although these don't match, they are really nice looking on their own. Um, if you want my honest opinion, I think felt tip liners are absolutely the way to go oh, indigestion. I honestly think that felt tip liners are the way to go if you want to um, totally wing it out all the time. And they last a really long time. I don't go through them faster than I go through other eyeliners. Well, I do, but only because I use them more. But for me, it's a really great option to do a really beautiful eye look in very little time. And I know that's what so many of us strive for. So if you learned something from this video, I hope that you give it a like and maybe subscribe to my channel. And I would really appreciate both of those. Leave me a cool comment down below. I mean, it doesn't have to be super cool. Just, you know, kind of cool. But anywho, that's all I've got for today. I just really thought... I mean, everybody talks to me about Wayne Liner and how they struggle with it, and I thought, these are my two cents, this is what works for me, and hopefully it'll help you get all that winged goodness on your eye looks that you love. Alright guys, again, I'm Morgan, this is Tinsley Trials, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! <laughs> oh, come on, man! That's good, right?